For today's video, I have a real huge topic. This topic can paralyze families from moving their loved one into senior housing. And the topic is just a conversation. How do you talk with your loved one about moving into senior housing? I'd say this conversation is right up there with the hardest of conversations, like terminating someone from a job, relationship breakups, talking about divorce with your children, or it could be even as difficult as asking your kids, how are you? <laughs> I'm obviously joking about that last one, but my point is this is very difficult. Before I get started, for those of you who haven't watched my videos, I'm Jeff Kaufman. I've been working in senior housing since 2004. I've been a licensed administrator in four states, and I owned my own assisted living company for 10 years. The goal of my senior housing videos is to bring easy to understand information that will help families, providers, and people generally interested in the senior housing field. If this interests you, I hope you subscribe to my channel because I upload videos on a regular basis. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get on with it. How do you get your loved one to make the move? How do you talk with them? What do you do if they refuse? To make the move <laughs> it, these are not easy questions at all over my years in senior housing i haven't met very many people that are looking forward to making the move into an assisted living or a memory care you and i probably won't want to make that move either when our time comes it's too closely affiliated with losing independence and nobody wants that it's a major life change and we all know how scary change can be i actually think it's gotten a little easier in recent years just because there's more knowledge that most of today's facilities are not run down poorly managed homes that they used to be in today's video i'm going to give you five steps that will help you prepare for the difficult conversation about moving to assisted living or senior housing in general. Step number one is plant seeds early. So many families think they have time, so they put off talking about it and then a crisis like a fall with a broken bone happens and a landslide of decisions get piled on you. Most of these decisions will have to be made far too quickly, especially if the doctors are telling you your loved one can't live independently anymore. Stop waiting. If you are thinking about it, start talking about it. When talking about senior housing with your loved one, talk about the upsides, like no more home maintenance, all-inclusive paying, the socialization, and the extra safety. Unfortunately, you're probably gonna have to sell them on this. It's very unlikely you're gonna be able to say anything that's gonna get them excited about it. So you need to prepare yourself for that. Step number two, learn about senior housing. What level of care will your loved one need? What can they afford? Would they do better in a larger or a smaller place? Call and talk with some facilities. Tell them your fears and ask them their recommendations on how to handle your specific situation. They do this every day and will likely have some really great advice. Step number three is include everyone who is part of the decision making. Maybe this includes your siblings, a doctor, or even friends. Surround yourself with the supportive ones. You're going to need it. Step number four, if you know that your loved one's gonna be against this, as most are, think of a third party that can help. Talk with anyone your loved one may respect and ask if they can help deliver the message. Maybe there's someone within the church, like a pastor, maybe a doctor, or even someone at the facility you have in mind. Over my years, I have found that many people who are refusing to move, once they talk with me, I get a better response from them than their own family. Step five, if your loved one can cognitively make these types of decisions, then include them. It's a scary and hard topic, and most people don't like change. Even so, make your loved one feel included. Then tackle each barrier as they're brought up. 
These five steps are meant to help you get some movement on this topic with your loved one. It is not the one and only way to go about it, but doing nothing now is only going to make things much harder if there is a crisis down the road and a doctor declares your loved one unable to live at home any longer. For many of you, it becomes a tough love situation. It will feel like a role reversal with your parents. But once you have them in a good loving place that provides the care and attention they deserve, it won't be long before they won't ever want to leave their new home. I've seen this result far too often and it really is the silver lining. If you've had this experience, I'd love to hear from you. I invite you to leave comments below. Your comments might really help out the next person. So there you have it, five steps that I'm hoping will help you talk with your loved one about moving into senior housing. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it or found it to be informative. If you did, others will too. So please push that like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm so that more of you can find me.